one of my early works as a law lecturer was a book titled, which I co-authored, titled Media Law in Nigeria. The book has been out of print for a few years now, but I'm pleased to announce that it will be back on sale before the end of the year. I really need to recoup all of the money that I spent on the elections. Please, there shall be no free copies as I intend to, re to reap the fruits of my labors. I'm a believer in the freedom of the press. Whatever, whatever, whether it's the responsible press or the irresponsible, I just believe in freedom of the press. Every morning, I receive a summary of most of the newspapers. I also receive trending news on social media from my media assistants. Added to that is a special pack that contains the latest memes, cartoons, or insults from the print or social media. That is also handed to me every morning. I thought I should share some of them with you this evening. Some of those memes, cartoons, and some of those uh, insults, and uh, some of the, you know, some of the interesting things that I get every morning. Some are funny, most of them extremely rude. So let's start with uh, the debate between Peter B and I and others. And for those who have seen this, this is what is called the where and where controversy. I'm also sure whether, can we play this so that people can hear it? And why we are well? Where we are not well? It's because we have, we, we, we have, earned, we, we have currently spent 2.7 trillion in two budget cycles. That's why we're where we are. You were where? Yes, you. Where we are. That's why we are. Here today. Do you want to finish all the weird now? Nah? Everything weird, 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 weird. You want to finish? Which weird will I not use? Which weird, which weird will I use? Do you want to be weird, 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 weird? Okay, I'll wear the shirt. Well, just for the record, what I was saying there was, why are we where we are? So I didn't say, where, where are we, where, where are we, where? <laughs> but this is what the media made of it. But. What is more interesting, it appears that every photograph of me talking with the president must be characterized as though I am saying something mischievous. Now, take this one, for example. Here I am with Peter, talking about Peter Obi. So this is me. I said, boss, we have checked Peter Obi's records. He's clean. What does the president say? The president says, then let's tell the people that it was the same Peter that denied Jesus three times. <laughs> That's, that's, what the, that's what the president said in answer to that. Well, and then there's the one where here, I'm try, and here the president and I are talking again, and we are trying to deny our promises to the Nigerian people. So the president says, so this is the list of promises we made to Nigerians during the campaign. The president answers, but this is not my handwriting. <laughs> There's the other one, and this is what the president they say, has to say on power. Sir, Nigerians are still club complaining about lack of power. What should I tell them? Go and tell them that all power belongs to Jesus. I'm just a man. I can't kill myself. <laughs> Finally, look at me. Look at me. Look at me there. They say, is, it, is that not a Shiba joke? On the left there, that very crooked-looking fellow on the left, that is supposed to be me, right there, right? Dancing next to them, <laughs> it's a little bit bad. But, um, but that's even good. There's the other one. This picture is supposed to be me, and that is supposed to be my so, so, so they say, Oshibaju denies family ties with this man in the photo. So the man there, sitting down there, is supposed to be, by the way, he looks, his cap looks exactly like my own. It's just white. <laughs> so that is supposed to be me there. I'll not bother you with the others. Uh, the other tweets, uh, all sorts. Ruga, pastor, minister in charge of condolence, all sorts of things. The media is powerful, very powerful. 
very, very powerful. But the social media is perhaps even more so. My elderly aunt uh, called me in February, just before the elections, and she said to me, she said, Yemi, why did you resign your appointment? I said, Auntie, I haven't resigned. I didn't resign. She said, no, 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 you resigned. I saw it on WhatsApp. I said, Auntie, I am telling you I did not. She said, no, 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 you, why is it on WhatsApp if you didn't resign? <laughs> but, that's, but that just tells you just how powerful what people read is. So we have a completely wild and unruly social media. But most frustrating, I must say, is print and broadcast media sometimes, especially the deliberate or advertent lack of curiosity about the facts. I'm not sure who said these wise words, but I recommend it to all my friends in the media. It says, if someone says it is raining, and another person says it is dry. It's not your job to quote them both. Your job is to look out of the window and find out what is true. It's not your job to say, Mr. X said it's raining, Mr. Y said it's dry. No, that's not your, your job is, to, okay, you just tell us. Okay, so which one is right, Mr. X or Mr. Y? So take the allegations, for instance, that the president doesn't have a school certificate. Now, the president said, I sat for and I obtained my West African school certificate in 1961 at the Katsina College. The examination body then was the Cambridge University, not any unknown university, Cambridge, the same Cambridge University. I would have thought that what any newspaper or TV station would do is just do this simple investigation required to establish whether it is true or false. Some of our TV stations even have contacts, they even have their correspondence in England and America, everywhere. So they could very easily have just gone to Cambridge University and found out, is it true, is it not true? But nobody did that. So the matter goes to court. The first time I saw it on a television station, guess what the television station carried? He said, a man was asked in court, one witness, Waek man, not Cambridge. The man, they asked him, is this your signature on the certificate? He said, no. The television station said, Waek official denies Buhari's certificate. That's false, completely false. Waek official only knows about Waek certificate. This is a West African school certificate by Cambridge University. But because nobody bothered to find out or didn't want to find out, the, 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 the public believed a lie for so long, even after the president had brought his certificate from Cambridge, Cambridge West African School Certificate. So with the ubiquity of social media and the anonymity every day, the problems of a free press are becoming more and more complex and even more dangerous. So there was a video recently, I'm also sure whether we have that video, of an occurrence in India showing some people jumping out of a building. <laughs> of something that happened in May in India. As you can see, a lot of the writing is even in, it's even in Hindi. But it was represented on social media as Nigerians jumping out of buildings in South Africa on account of the xenophobic attacks. I don't know how many people saw the woman or heard the woman on, uh, on, on social media who now started cursing the president, cursing the vice president, and all our generations. She said, I watched one thing on social media where Nigerians were jumping out of a burning building. If you don't do something, this tells us 
just how fake news or provocative information can cause chaos and civil strife, war, even death. Again, I thought perhaps somebody in the media, maybe radio, maybe TV, would seize the initiative and correct the fake news. Well, it was BBC that came to the rescue. I think that we as media people, all of us are now media people, on social media, print, TV, must begin to do something serious about fake news before it consumes us all. On a lighter note as I, as I close, let me note that I'll be looking forward to seeing how my remarks this evening will be reported. I intend to compare the number of headlines, some proclaiming Oshibaju blasts media practitioners. Or perhaps some will say Oshibaju vows improved engagement with the media. Or Oshibaju solicits greater support from the media. Or on social media. Now, this is social media. Some might say Oshibaju says no xenophobic, no xenophobic attack took place in South Africa. Anything is possible. I will leave you to decide which one is a more accurate rendering of our engagement this evening. But I want to say how very thankful I am for all the help and support we get every day from the press. And to say that for good or for ill at all times, whether you report nicely or not so nicely, you will always be friends and will always be partners. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you.